I meet at Samsung's flagship TVs for 2015, the JS9000 and the JS9500. Both have the latest 4K UHD picture quality. Let's take a closer look at the key features. These new LED TVs are branded SUHD. This uses a take on quantum dot technology designed to boost the colours you'll see on screen and make them even more vibrant. Alongside all the extra detail you'd expect in a 4K picture, Samsung says these SUHD TVs will have technology to improve the contrast and increase the peak brightness. It believes that it could be even better than an OLED TV, but we'll have to get them into the lab to find out. Samsung has completely redesigned its smart TV service using the Tizen operating system. They say it will be more fluid and easy to use. A navigation bar pops up at the bottom of the screen while you're watching TV. It contains all your favourite and most recently used services. The multi-link screen feature introduced in 2014 has been updated allowing you to resize either panel. So you can make a web panel smaller while you watch TV and vice versa. The new natural flow interface has icons on the edge of the screen, allowing you to access things like your settings and the TV guide. It looks good, but we are a little concerned the icons may be a bit small and hard to click on if you haven't got a steady hand. The flagship TV should run smoothly though, because Samsung has fitted them with eight core processors. That's faster than some smartphones. This is the 2015 Samsung Smart Remote. It has a slimmer and heavier feel to it, with a textured back alien grip. The buttons are well positioned, and the on-screen pointer, activated by a central key in the middle, seems pretty responsive. It has just 18 buttons, which Samsung says is based on user research. We were initially concerned about the lack of a quick access button for the guide but Samsung tells us that a long press on the central bottom button will bring this up. Our ergonomics experts will be giving it the rundown later in the year. Samsung has got a brand new One Connect box coming in 2015, featuring a redesigned hub housing all your HDMI, USB and other ports. You won't be able to currently tune into 4K TV channels as there aren't any in the UK available. However, you can stream 4K content over the internet via services such as Netflix and Amazon. Thankfully, both these smart TVs can do that. And if Samsung's last year 4K models are anything to go by, these TVs should also be pretty good at standard and high definition content. Although we'll reserve judgment on that until we've tested them. The JS9000 will start from 55 inches but the JS9500 will go from a whopping 65 inches. We don't have pricing or availability as yet, but expect these TVs to be at the more expensive end of the market. Redesigned smart TV, a new remote control, and SUHD picture quality. It's all here in these two flagship TVs. We'll be getting them in the lab later in the year to put them through their paces.